Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. The Bible says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 says that before the Antichrist comes in the world, seeing that there's going to be a falling away that's going to happen in the last days. One of the reasons that there's going to be a falling away in the last days is because there are going to be a lot of people attacking Christianity. There are going to be a lot of people who are losing their faith for various reasons. And Matt Dillahunty is going to be part um, of this reason. He'll be used by Satan to deceive a lot of people here on YouTube and off of YouTube into believing that there is no God. And then, unfortunately, when they die and they got to deal with reality, and as, as a matter of fact, I would dare say, even in, in their own life, they're going to have to deal with the reality that they know that they, they've been lied to, that they've been deceived up until the point that when they die, if they don't repent and they stand before Almighty God and they find out that Matt Dillahunty lied to them, you know, they're going to find out what I already know, that this man hates God and doesn't want any of you to follow him. So what we're going to do is we're going to see another video clip of Matt Dillahunty spewing out his venom and then we're going to put him in his place. So let's get started. Your, posi your position, uh, to, to the extent that I understand it, because I haven't got a kind of a straight answer yet, is one where there is a God who has an important message for mankind, and somehow he only reveals it to certain individuals who then write this down, and thousands of years after this initial revelation, we have to rely on copies of copies of translations of copies by anonymous authors with no originals, and the a textual testimony to a miracle, for example, the loaves and fishes, there's no amount of reports, anecdotal testimonial reports, that could be sufficient to justify believing that this event actually happened as reported. No amount. And anything that would qualify as a god would clearly understand this, and if it wanted to convey this information to people in a way that was believable, would not be relying on text to do so. And this, for me, is the nail in the coffin for Christianity. The God that Christians believe in is amazingly stupid if it wants to actually achieve its goal of spreading this information to humanity by relying on text. That's not a pathway to truth. And anything that would qualify for a God should know this, which means either that God doesn't exist or it doesn't care enough about those people who understand the nature of evidence to actually present it. Now, which of those possibilities do you think is, is accurate? You know, I'm starting to really appreciate the idea of letting a person speak and letting them talk, you know, and kind of dig their own grave. Matt Dillahunty is an atheist. He believes in the theory of evolution. He buys into the fact that, you know, outer space started because of the Big Bang. This is a man who has a subjective morality or a relative morality. He thinks he's more moral than the God of the Bible. I'm sorry, God of the Old Testament and the New Testament, even though there's only one God. And the Bible testifies this from beginning to end, Matt. And I'm going to keep reminding you about this until you get on the atheist experience and acknowledge that. Okay? Um, so let's talk about what he's saying regarding the reliability of my Bible. So let me get this straight. Your argument is, is because I don't have any originals by faith. I can't um, accept what's in here. I, I shouldn't listen to any historians that, uh, that, that mention these individuals. Shouldn't pay attention to any artifacts that's been found. I shouldn't pay attention to any of those things. What I should do is just be a doubter. Hmm. You know what, Matt? I'm going to meet you halfway there. Okay. Are you willing, sir? To drop, the theory, to, to drop your belief in the theory of evolution. In fact, I'll make a deal with you. I'll start questioning this the way you want me to the moment you start doing that with evolution. I've never seen this so-called common ancestor that we all evolved from. Point number one. Number two, where are these transitional fossils that everyone keep claiming that we that we evolved from? Uh, when, did the human, when did the human language um, begin? What was the first human language? How did we get to the English language from the first language? Do you know this, Matt? And can you give me demonstrable and empirical evidence for the fact that 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 we have any um uh uh any information about how how our language became English from the very first language? If you can tell me what that is, that'd be great. Also, uh, can you show me some evidence? Because apparently, 
depending on what scientists that you talk to, um, <laughs> we all evolved from a single cell organism or a blue-green algae or a fish or whatever it is that they want to call it. Matt, can you show me demonstrable, empirical, something that is testable, something that is repeatable with your precious scientific method that would demonstrate that a one kind of an animal can become a different kind, like a dog becoming a non-dog, a cat becoming a non-cat. And yet you believe in the theory of evolution. See, I know you're going to try to make an argument for adaptations, if you know anything about the topic. I know you're going to try to make arguments for mutations. Okay? But that's not what I'm talking about. I want to know how you go from a single cell organism to a human being. And I want to see evidence, sir. I don't want to hear what you studied from this person. You are to bring physical evidence to me and show me what it is. Now, oh, I'm sorry, you don't got any. Which proves that you have a certain amount of faith in what you believe. You have factual information and um, um, and a lot of what you believe is based on faith. Same thing here, Matt. I have factual information in here. We have historical documents. We have we have historians uh, uh, mentioning uh, uh, mentioning uh, Jesus and various other individuals. We have a lot of evidence. The problem is, and I said this once and I'll say it a million times, the atheist community does not want evidence. What they want you to do is take time out of your life to sit there and convince them that God exists. And they want to be and they want to sit in the seat of judgment to determine whether or not my God is real or not. Now, Matt Dillahunty, you sat there and you said that that you're more moral than the God of the God of the Old Testament and the New Testament. I got news for you, sir. I believe in holding people to what they say. And if God isn't real, my friend, you're not more moral than, he, than either one of them, according to you, because he ain't real. Okay? All the atrocities that happened in humanity, God had nothing to do with that. It was humanity that did those things. And even if I wasn't a Christian, and let's say I was um, some other belief and whatnot, I would still hit you up the same way. I'm like, wow, you're bragging about humanity a lot, but humanity is, according to you and your uh, worldview, um, uh, and actually I would agree with you, Humanity is responsible for slavery. Humanity is responsible for mass rape. Humanity is responsible for mass genocide, the dropping of the atomic bomb. Do I need to go on about how stupid humanity is? But the Bible does have an answer for this. The Bible says that there is none that is righteous, no, not one, that we have all sinned against a holy God. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and has fallen short of the glory of God. You see, you see me, Matt? I don't deviate from this. I want you so bad in the room it's not even funny because you ask the wrong questions to the wrong people. If you want to have these kind of conversations, go do that with an atheist. But if you come to a Christian, we're going to expect you to be intellectually honest when you're talking to us. Okay? We're going to hold you to the same um, 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 accusations that you're making about Christianity to your atheist worldview. You don't have no evidence for nothing. You don't have no evidence, number one, that there's no God. You can't come out your mouth and say 100% that there is no God because you've never been it. You've never been everywhere. And you have to have all knowledge in order to be able to say that there is no God. What you can do is say, well, you know what? Based on what's been presented to me, I doubt um, um, the message and I'm not going to believe. If that was all you was doing, Matt, I would have no problem with that. I'll preach to you. If you didn't believe, I would go about my business. But you're on YouTube and you're bad mouthing my belief system and my brothers and my sisters in Christ. And that's a no no. It's not going to happen. Now, I got some fakes that leave comments on my channel that say they're Christians. Uh, uh, and I'll name them Fiona, Andy, Jack, and some other people who are actually applauding what you're doing. Destroy the God of the Bible. Destroy the God of the Bible. Because those cowards aren't going to make any videos about you. They're scared. They ain't got no backbone. But I do. And the fact of the matter is, Matt, this is more reliable than any of that garbage you're, you're spewing out regarding these science books. Show me a transitional fossil that has not been refuted or destroyed a thousand times over. Show me how we, how, how, how we, how we evolved from one cell to believe in this goofy belief that you're related to grapes, walnuts, apricots, chimpanzees, and bamboos. If you want to believe you're related to those things, my friend, more power to you. I choose to be edified. I know that I'm a human being. 
I know I'm above the um the, these animals, you know, the dogs, the cats, the lions, the, the, the orangutans and all of them and whatnot. God give me dominion over those things. If you wanna believe, sir, that you um that 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 you're equal with an orangutan and, and that you're like an orangutan, more power to you. Hell is real, my friend. But I just wanted to do this rant about what he's um, talking about here in this video, guys. I got more coming because I didn't realize how much stupidity uh, this guy has on YouTube. And trust me, for every one of those, there's going to be a G-Man video next to every last one of them. And until next time, guys, this has been another edition of Preaching to the Choir Ministries, calling out that coward Matt Dillahunty one more time and telling Matt Dillahunty, you need to repent of your sins. You know God exists, and I know God exists. We both know he exists. You're just lying because you think, because you want to rebuild what happened over there in Russia with our churches being destroyed and many religious people being killed. And I'm going to wait till I get to that video, Matt, when I really show people what atheism is all about. And until next time, my brothers and sisters in Christ and you, Matt Delahunty, take this advice for the rest of your days. Read your Bible and do what it says.